So let's go back into Seller Central and complete the account setup. So I request you to come to settings and go to account info. All right. Now here you can see that there is um, you know your business name. Uh, so if you would like to edit it, please click on edit and make the changes. Please also add your customer service email and customer service reply to email. Okay. Now uh, this is where you would be getting all of the customer queries. So make sure this is a valid email ID which is constantly checked. Okay. And on Jungly, if you see, we also have seller ratings and reviews. Right. So if you just click here. you will be able to see all the reviews that a seller has gotten right now all of these reviews will be sent to the customer service email id that you mentioned here on your seller central which is why it's critical for you to provide a correct and a valid id okay customer service phone number again this will be displayed on jungly so you see here how this uh, seller info is being provided so this would be provided here okay and contact phone and contact email address is for is for amazon to get in touch with you so this details won't be mentioned on the jungly website anywhere but this is for us to get in touch with you so you can leave a direct contact number or a direct email address here okay and once done just click on submit right and uh, then we need your logo so i'll also tell you another location from where you can upload your logo please check if your domain address is fine if there are no typos Okay once all of that is done go to settings and go to notification preferences So here you see there are content violations right now once your products are launched on jungly.com we have crawlers which will crawl your website during non peak hours right and they catch discrepancies such as price price mismatches or uh, dead links or you know uh, uh, basically page redirections or a product not found so things like that will be uh, found by our crawlers and your product ads will be immediately suspended Okay so Sus by suspended I I mean those will be removed from jungly until the time you come and correct it now every time we suspend a product ad like that we would be sending you a content violation email at this particular email id okay so here if you click on edit you can also see there is an option to add another okay so please add multiple people so that uh, you know one of you can quickly get into the central and make the changes required Now on next next go to login settings. Now here is where you will be able to change your uh, you know uh, security questions, reset your password and all of that. Now under settings go to shipping settings. So here just click on edit. Uh, you might be seeing an orange button that says set shipping rate. So as soon as you come into shipping settings, you will see a button called as set shipping rate. Please click on that and then just click on edit. Now we have uh, two different forms of setting your shipping rates, right? One is a flat per shipment fee. That is for sellers who are charging a flat rate of hundred rupees, no matter what is the cart value bought by the customer. So even if the customer buys ten thousand rupees, you are only charging hundred rupee shipment. Or uh, even if they buy probably like a five hundred rupees product, you are still charging them a hundred rupee shipment. Okay, and uh, uh, in that case, you will select I charge a flat per shipment fee and mention the flat amount here. Okay, and uh, people sellers who are also giving away free delivery will use this option I charge a flat per shipment fee and just say zero. Got it? So it's that simple. Now the second option is. if you are charging different per shipment fees depending on the total item price so this is let's say for items totaling 0 to 300 i am charging 30 rupees and for anything above than 300 i am giving free delivery okay so you can also add more price bands if you have any doubts discuss this with your engagement managers okay now you don't have to set it uh, for every sku on the fee template you can do account level setting here and we will calculate this and show it up uh, you know for uh, for all of your products on jungly.com okay and then just click on submit now under settings go to user permissions So from here you can uh, you know invite other users to have their own seller central username and password and you can also edit permissions so you can give them uh, view permissions or you know admin permissions and all of that from here and under settings last but not the least go to your info and policies so here you will see a bunch of bullet points now all of this details will be appearing on jungly.com under seller info 
so if you just click here under seller info you'll be able to see all the details about the seller which is about seller returns and refunds policy shipping rates right all of that would be shown here and all of this is flowing in from this particular setting so from about seller you will just add your about us from the website make sure you're not adding any links or URLs or hyperlinks so to avoid that copy the text into a notepad with and then copy from the notepad to seller central so that it removes all formatting okay now once that is done click on save and then go to seller logo so here you see there is a guideline right logo images must be 120 pixels width by width and 30 pixels by height okay and they must have absolutely no animation an image file should be in jpeg or gif format only uh, so in case you're not able to resize your logo feel free to send it to us but we would recommend that you get it done from your designers right so that uh, your logo is 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 strong and legible okay and uh, you should also know that on jungly your logo is what creates your identity right so this is how all the products appear on jungly right so make sure that you provide a logo which is readable which is legible okay preferably on a white background now once this is, that is done go to returns and refunds so copy paste your returns and refunds policy here okay in the same manner that you did the about us and then you go to shipping so under shipping you have shipping policies okay wherein you mention all the policies and under uh, under shipping rates you can uh, you know detail out all the shipping charges so if you have conditional shipping rates like below 300 is 30 rupees above 300 free delivery uh, cod convenience charge rupees 50 all of that should come under shipping rates okay and then comes the privacy policy and lastly the faqs so please copy paste all this information from your website if you don't have it on your website please provide us the content here and before launching kindly also check if the same can be updated on your website okay